measures to control inflation let us understand various measures that could be taken to control inflation control of inflation inflation develops into a hyperinflation if it is not controlled in the initial stage itself therefore it becomes crucial for the government to undertake various steps to control inflation basic causes of inflation are excess money supply in economy and excess purchasing power in the hands of the public if both these factors are brought under control then it is much easy to bring inflation under control there are several ways through which inflation could be brought under control a quick look at few of these first monetary measures second fiscal measures and third other measures monetary measures these measures are adopted by the central bank of a country reserve bank of india in case of india to control the money supply it includes increase in bank rates sale of government securities in open market and increase in cash reserve ratio let us study in detail the monetary measures increase in bank rates bank rate is the interest rate at which a nation central bank lends money to domestic banks this is typically done to control money supply in the economy and the banking sector a fluctuation in bank rates triggers a ripple effect as it impacts every sphere of a country's economy Any upward revision in bank rate by central bank is an indication that banks should also increase deposit rates as well as base rate or benchmark prime lending rate. Thus it can be said that if bank rate is hiked in all likelihood banks will soon hike their own lending rates to ensure that they continue to make profit. borrowing becomes dearer as interest rate increases it discourages businessmen and consumers to take loans this kind of controlled money supply helps to reduce the inflationary pressure on the economy sale of government securities in open market Government controls the money supply by issuing government securities in public. Government securities are issued by a government to raise the funds necessary to pay for its expenses. These securities are nothing but bonds and debentures with a certain maturity period. These securities lock the purchasing power of public for a certain period. Therefore, sale of securities can help regulate the inflation. Increase in cash reserve ratio. CRR means cash reserve ratio. Banks in India are required to hold a certain proportion of their deposits in the form of cash. However, actually banks do not hold these as cash with themselves but deposit such cash with Reserve Bank of India or RBI currency chests which is considered as equivalent to holding cash with RBI. This minimum ratio that is the part of the total deposits to be held as cash is stipulated by the RBI and is known as the CRR or cash reserve ratio remaining amount with the banks after maintaining cash reserve is called as credit creation capacity of that bank For example, when banks deposits increase by 100 rupees and if the cash reserve ratio is 
banks will have to hold additional 6 rupees with RBI. Bank will be able to use only 94 rupees for investments and lending or credit purpose. Thus, higher the ratio, that is CRR, lower is the amount that banks will be able to use for lending and investment. This power of RBI to reduce the lendable amount by increasing the CRR makes it an instrument in the hands of a central bank through which it can control the amount that banks lend. Thus, it is a tool used by RBI to control liquidity in the banking system as well as in the country. A quick look at a few of the fiscal measures to control inflation. Fiscal measures. These measures are adopted by the government to affect the changes in purchasing power with the public. They include government expenditure, taxation, public borrowing, debt management, and overvaluation. Government expenditure. Government releases money in economy every time it meets its expenditure. Excess money supply in the economy helps inflation. In order to control inflation, the government has to reduce its expenditure. Taxation. It is necessary to take away the excess purchasing power of the public by the way of taxes. It helps to moderate the demand for goods and services to match with the supply. Increasing tax rates and imposing some new taxes can control inflation up to some extent. Public borrowing Government borrows money from households and businessmen by way of bonds. The public borrowing absorbs the excess purchasing power from the public by mobilizing private savings. Debt Management Government can control public debt in a strict manner in order to control excess money supply in the economy. Government also controls the credit expansion of commercial banks. Overvaluation Overvaluation means increasing the value of domestic currency in terms of foreign currency. Overvaluation discourages foreign individuals and business houses as they are required to pay more for same quantity of goods. Therefore, the supply of goods and services gets diverted from foreign market to domestic market. It helps to balance demand and supply levels in domestic market. Inflation develops into a hyperinflation if it is not controlled in the initial stage itself. There are several ways through which inflation could be brought under control, namely monetary measures, fiscal measures and other measures.